Hey guys, welcome to the next video on solving missing angles using trig. So in this video, you're going to learn to find missing angles in a right triangle using the arc trig functions. Um, the arc trig functions are used uh, to calculate the angles of approach for airplanes to land safely. And you can calculate a missing reference angle using two given sides of a right triangle. That's how you know you're going to do this correctly. So what are the arc trig functions? So the arc trig functions, um, every function of math has an undo button. And that is essentially saying that it has a way for um, us to undo it so that it cancels itself and leaves a one behind. Each of the three trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, all have inverses too. And essentially what we can do is take the arc sine, arc cosine, or arc tangent of one of those ratios, and it will give us the angle measure that is associated with that particular combination of legs. So if you take the arc sine, it calculates the angle measure when we know the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. If you take the arc cosine, it is when we know the adjacent measures and the hypotenuse measures. And if you take the arc tangent, that is if we know the opposite and adjacent side measures. All right, so the three steps of actually doing in a, using an inverse trig function, you're gonna figure out which trig ratio you, you actually need to use. Um, you're going to do so based on the so two sides of the tr triangle that you have. Um, if you have three of them, then you can go ahead and pick the one that you want to use. Um, personally, I always prefer to use sine or cosine, but you can pick uh, if you have all three sides. But if you only have two sides, then you have to use the two sides in the correct corresponding ratio. So set up an arc trig ratio. So this arc trig ratio is I have an opposite side of 5 and an adjacent side of 8. And then I could take that inverse trig ratio, enter it into my calculator, and it would um, give me the inverse uh, tangent would give me the angle measure associated with that amount. So let's get started. All right, so I've got... This triangle with a side of 6, a side of 8, and an unknown hypotenuse. So it says find the measure of alpha. So according to the sides that I actually have, I have an opposite side from alpha of 8. I have an adjacent side of 6. And Sokotoa tells me that opposite adjacent can be related with the tangent. So we're going to take the inverse tangent of 8 over 6, the opposite side over the adjacent side. And that will be equal to alpha. So all I have to do now is type in 8 divided by 6 into my calculator and take the inverse tangent of that. And when I do, the inverse tangent of 8 divided by 6 is equal to approximately 53.13 and then we are going to round all of our angle measures so we could say that alpha is approximately equal to 53 degrees okay moving on what is the measure of angle theta in the right triangle Okay, so right now I have uh, this angle up here is the one that we're referring to. It's our reference angle. Um, 8 is adjacent to it. And while 13 is also adjacent to it, it's not an adjacent side. It's the hypotenuse because it is across from the right angle. So A and H in Sokotoa is for cosine. So we're going to do the inverse cosine of the adjacent side 8 divided by the hypotenuse 13. 
and that's going to be equal to beta. So I'm going to type 8 divided by 13 into my calculator. And then I'm going to take the inverse cosine of that. And that means that theta is uh, equal to 52.02. So I would then say that theta is approximately 52 degrees. Pretty simple. So you just got to know which two sides to use. And then you got to use the right trig ratio. So let's take a look at this one. What is the measure of the missing angles in the right triangle below? So I've got theta. Uh, if I calculate theta, I know that this here is 90. So if I can calculate theta, I can use the fact that all three angles have to add up to 180. So I am going to use that all angles add up to 180 degrees. So if I find theta, I can find this angle up here, which I'm just going to label x. All right, so let's use a trig ratio to find theta. Uh, theta uh, is the only two sides that I'm given in relation to theta is this opposite side of 5 and this hypotenuse of 9.4. So opposite and hypotenuse means I'm going to use the sine but I need to use the arc sign because I'm looking for an angle measure. Uh, the opposite side is 5. The hypotenuse is 9.4. And that's going to be equal to the measurement of theta. So I'm going to do 5 divided by 9.4. And when I do... I then am going to take the inverse sine of that, and I get 32.13. And so we are going to go ahead and still round this. So theta is approximately 32 degrees. And now that I know that, I can put 32 here. And then I'm going all the way back to my triangle sum theorem, uh, 32 degrees plus 90 degrees, because that's the 90 degree angle there, plus x degrees has to equal 180 degrees. So I can go ahead and add 32 and 90 to get 112. Uh, plus, excuse me, 122. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 122 plus x equals 180. So then I can go ahead and subtract 122 from both sides to get x is equal to 58 degrees. So then I've got 52, 32, 58, and I've got the measure of all of the angles in this triangle here. So that's it, guys. So finding a missing angle in a right triangle is all about using Sokotoa. Uh, but remember, with Sokotoa here, we're going to use the arc ratios instead. Make sure you identify which two sides of the triangle you're given, then set up the arc ratio. So something like tangent, the arc tangent of uh, 5 over 8 would equal your missing angle measurement. And then you enter that into your calculator and you're going to round it to the nearest degree. Um, so if you did that, um, you're doing everything correctly. So that's it, guys. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.